Good day everybody, welcome to the first top 8 game for the November League playoffs. Whoever wins this one goes through to the next round uh, between John Mack and Kevin Peterson. Um, hope you guys have a great game and uh, we'll see you on the other side, whoever is the winner. Enjoy guys. <laughs> But no channels for double repositions or makes it harder for them to use the barrel boost option, maybe. Well, thankfully we don't have a barrel boost action. I'll have to barrel or boost move barrel or boost. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. guys. Thank God. Okay, we, we're live. Um, we joined tonight commentary-wise by Michael Wells and Pierre Lopes. Hello. How are you guys doing? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you, Arnie? Can't complain. Thanks for joining, guys. It's always a, a good thing to have all the players that uh, help out with uh, all the streaming and keeping the community up and running. Thanks, guys. Yay! <laughs> all right, no so um, let's go through the list. Let's see what you guys um, think. Uh, Pierre, what do you think of Kevin's list? I think Kevin's list. Okay, yeah. so uh, Kevin's list is Anakin Skywalker in the Etitu Actus with mm -hmm. Predator and Ion Cannon. Yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi with Predator and Ion Cannon also in the Etitu Actus. And then Mace Windu in a Delta 7B Aether Sprite with Sense and uh, R4P17. Nice. Interesting list. Um, I quite like the new Etitu. Uh, it's a little bit fragile for my tastes, but uh, those ion cannons can be extremely nasty, especially if you manage to catch another small ship out, because you can just mm. then swarm it with zero repercussions. Yeah. And since Base Windu gives you just so much power in terms of knowing where your opponent is going, mm. being able to do your K turn or Segna's loop and keep your force up, and with our or P17 still having an action, so you're not vulnerable at all. Yeah, correct. And uh, I see the 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 Eta 2 active or Actus has got the same uh, base points uh, hull wise as the interceptor. So you've got three um, three attack, two de uh, three defense, and three hull. Well, three attack in the bullseye. Yeah, in the bullseye. Two attack yes. in the normal front arc. So they are a little bit more difficult to. But they're also a lot easier because you've got your force. Yes. Just to back you up. That's great, yeah. And, um, Michal, what do you think of John's list? I've had some good experience flying against it. Mm -hmm. so, he's um, bringing, so he's bringing the bombs there, dear friend. The pretty, bombs. pretty strong. Yes. So, okay, looks like they're ready to go. Um, so we're looking at Death Rain. We've got um, Diamond Boron Missiles. That's mm -hmm. mainly just to give it three dice out the front from two to three and to control swarms because they all have the same agility. Yeah. So they get to roll that extra dice if it hits. Yes, yes, yes. Skill Bombardier, that is for the trajectory simulator, thermal detonators mainly. So he'll be able to launch and drop two thermal debts while yes, doing an action after each that is one for the while using Skill Bombardier. Mm. So he can either launch at five and four, and or he can drop at three, boost, launch at five, and then take a focus. It just some crazy, crazy combos which are quite nice. Or he can launch at four, boost, launch at five. Yes, I've actually played. Um, I've actually played really this. Strong. I've played it actually the same way in 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 the sort of sense as well with seismic charges. Mm. Um, toss the seismic charge out, launch it by five, and then do a barrel roll to the left and just do a, exactly. a slight well, little thing, one to get rid of the stress. detonators is that they're quite strong when they give you a strain or damage. Yeah. It's quite it's quite lethal. Mm. Um, also, the Grand Inquisitor with Prockets and Sense, that's to support him. So during the system phase, you can actually sense where they're going to make an effective judgment for the launch. Mm -hmm. Works really well. Um, with Death Rain and Vader with Afterburners and Fire Control just to be a nasty I-6. Yeah, I know. That's about it. 
Nice. Yeah, I think this is a game going to be categorized by who sense carrier survives longer. <laughs> yeah, I see we have a sense, uh, like you said, we have a sense of. Yeah. Like, well, that'll uh, most, most likely be Grand Inquisitor. Yeah. Hmm. From the way that I see John play, so he might be a little bit cagey with him first, but check. Looks like he's yeah. coming in the top there. Yeah. Um, oh, one way now. An exit, but we'll see what happens there. Because um, of over Eta 2 Actus's systems phase reposition is very good. It's just a lot better if you know where your opponent is going, otherwise you're kind of flying blind. Yeah. Unless you're getting yourself out of a situation you shouldn't have been in to begin with. Mm. Mm. You can use it to set up blocks though quite nicely, where boosting into a point where your opponent didn't think you were going to be, having them fly into you and then doing your regular maneuver. It, it seems like that's just going to be for emergencies here, because it's going to cost... I mean, who's got sense here? Mess Wundu. Okay, yeah. so he's going to be looking at maybe doing red maneuvers to recover force. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Sensing, and it, uh, yeah. it is also a Delta 7 version, so it does have the tank to deal with it as well. Mm. Not nearly as fragile as the other two. Yeah, so, this is interesting. So he's got a support... He's got a Delta support with two little aces. Yeah. And John doesn't really have a support. He's got just firepower, but they support in the way that you can't forget about them. Yeah. You know, it's, they're not easy to kill, really. You definitely and, not, not underestimate them, definitely. And not. that affects the way people fly and react. So mm -hmm. it's a different, it's quite different. I've flown quite a few times against John, and I believe with this list, I don't think I've beaten it yet. Even before the. He, I think he had it also... No, he didn't. Not before the loss. He might have had a red line. Scarred. <laughs> yeah, we get to see... This will be the first up. time I've seen... This is the first time I've... Actually, sorry, this is the first time I've seen Death Rain in 2.0. Um, right. I don't think... I don't think he's been around in 2.0. Well, as I, as I mentioned, I did play him a few times, but uh, when it comes to all the, the bigger matches, we didn't see him on the field a lot, a lot yeah. I mean, who watches my matches? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Kevin will definitely know the, 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 the backlash I did on myself when I played against him with Death Rain. Kind of bombed myself more than him. <laughs> Do you guys know whether Kevin has any experience flying against Death Rain? Um... Except flying against me by myself, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's a punisher, it should be okay. Yeah, it's a punisher, um, it should be okay. Yeah. Interestingly, we have Kevin flying information, even though he's currently um, given John the first player token, so you, you should be round of the ace game, and we've got John splitting up his forces, trying to flank and, well, play the ace game. So this is very interesting. I see... Death Rain probably, what, turning into this gas cloud cu cluster just to, well, threaten off all of that from these um, Eta 2s because mm. they cannot take a single bomb, otherwise yeah. they're in trouble. Correct, yeah. I mean, that's that's what I would do. If I, I would go straight down those asteroid fields and just lob the bombs inside there so they don't have a lot of space to go away out from, away out from the bombs. That's what I would do. Yeah, yeah but, he, but he's also... Hey, Kevin, what's up? Can you promote me again? I dropped off. <laughs> oh, sorry, I do apologize. <laughs> we have a spy in our midst. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we did not say anything about bombs. Strategy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, at this current moment, um, Kevin should either now decide whether to go fast forward mm -hmm. or turn in, because next turn he will not be able to turn in. Well, also... It, it, if you think about it, I got a feeling that he's going to go five straight with Grand Inquisitor. Yes. Ooh, and he's wow. going to he's going to bank. He's going to do a blue bank, Death Rain in there, and like you said, thread him off that whole middle area. But he's not going to do it. I think he's yeah. I think two rounds time he's going to start launching. Probably yeah, around exactly. that gas cloud down there, the long one that they're aiming towards. Yeah. So Kevin needs to decide either to race for that top corner, try taking out Vader while Inky and 
Defrain are currently engaged, or he needs to dedicate going to the center of the board so he's out of it by the time Defrain actually starts getting bombs in. Indeed, yeah. I'm I'm thinking Grand Inquisitor might just do a one bank, put himself there, barrel roll out, prep for the. Hey, he won't be able to barrel roll out. If he does so. One, I mean, if he does, roll. he's he's, not, he's going to hit the gas club the next turn, and there will. Well, I, I mean, barrel roll to the right. But the, does a Grand Inquisitor have a one bank? Yeah, that's the question. Oh, one sharp <laughs> in blue. I assume it's got one. Bank. Yeah, it's got one sharp. I don't think it's got one blank bank though. The uh, tie advanced V one Scott. No, I don't. It's, it hasn't got a one straight. Yeah, it's got one bank in blue. Does that? Yeah, bank. it's got oh, one okay. bank. Doesn't it's got two straight? Eh? It doesn't have a one bank. Uh, it doesn't no, have yeah, a one straight. straight. Yeah. So I was thinking one bank, one bank to the left, and then barrel roll out to the right. Then you've got a nice clear run. Oh, and if you want to try to turn in with the bank maneuver, you can. But, looks like, well, John's dials are set, Kevin's still deciding, timer is still going. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of this will depend on if something also gets nicked by an ion cannon, because that is very dangerous for John's ships. Oh, yeah. You don't want to get um, an ion cannon on the ships. If Vader's ion, can he still use a force after that? Uh, no, you can no. only perform a focus action. That yes, is it. That is but I think it. it's... Is it not just during your perform action? No, no, it's throughout the whole turn. You cannot be coordinated, nothing. Yes, you can only do focus. So you uh, can you... be... Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, what about the coordinated? Can you be coordinated you... before you get ioned? Yeah, you could be coordinated a focus token, but then you can't do anything in your action step because you've taken the focus action. That's a, it's a case of you get a focus token if you get an action, and that is it. Mm. No ifs, ands, or buts. No auto thrusters. No Vader ability. Nothing. Yeah, I Ion is very dangerous for either Grand Inquisitor or Darth Vader because the minute you know where they're going, you can very easily cater around it. Mm, definitely. I see. They find did do the one bank in left, as you said. Yeah. So he's sitting noise and snug in, so in front of that little debris after what's his name is a gas cloud. Yeah, that, that gives him good options for next turn to either bank into this mess or just to go straight and if he mm. needs to chase. Ooh. So Mace Window turning into the clouds. Or gives him an option to toss that bomb out the front with the fire. Oh, I love to drink this later. So awesome. One bank in, called it. One bank in, yeah. Mm. So and face off of Windu. They are. They... Oh, he did come off, huh? Yeah. So he's going to then. Is he going to go for the lock? Is it? No, it's just out of range. I yeah, don't I think, think there's range for lock now. Just out of range. He is thinking of post. Yep, there's the boost. I thought he might do that. Boost focus. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Probably what, going to negate the range bonus? It's just oh. interesting. Normally he, he would he would have, like I said, done a five straight. Mm -hmm. Flanked even more. Yeah. Getting out of the trajectory. Because right now he's in a little bit of a tough position because he can't really go this way. He can't go to the left. He can only really go to the right. Well, Obi-Wan also in a very strange position in that he can't really go straight if he wants to go left he's going to have to sharp in he doesn't really oh, I mean I suppose he could pre-maneuver barrel roll either left or right but currently in his, in a, he's in a very strange position okay Vader took a lock is he going to reposition or are you going to stay there uh, it looks like he's staying there free bank from Anakin I think he's happy yeah I think he's happy there because he can maybe fall straight off the burners yeah, or just uh, one bank, just throw a far net, see what you catch. Or use that gas cloud as a one... shield while yeah. coming in on maybe m mace. Yeah, mm -hmm. or even just a one straight from Vader should catch 
Mace or Obi. So Vader in a very good position at the moment. Yeah, he's got options. And range free shot from Inky into Mace Windu. Here we go. First shot of the match, guys. Okay. Let's see what um, happens here. So it should be three dice against three dice. Yep. Got to hit and crit. Hit, hit crit. Wow. Oof. Well, Grand Inquisitor, that's gotta hurt. And oh, oh, oh no. Mace Windu shield down. Oh my god. Ouch, that hurt. Oof, and that's already half points on Mace Windu for John. <laughs> Ouch. What a swing. What 30, a swing. Yeah. Thirty-six to zero. Yo. Okay, retaliatory shot. Mace Windu into Grand Inquisitor. Three dice. Into five oh, dice. Oh, troll roll. <laughs> troll roll. Kidding me. And that'll just be one hit when he spends the focus. <laughs> oh, I probably need to... Four dice back. One evade, one focus, two blanks. Mace Windu Grand has lost his safe. three shields. What a knob. <laughs> That is a very harsh roll. Well, so, yeah. I, I think you go aggressive with Vader now. Try to leap Mace early. Well, yeah, Mace is in a bad position. I think you could free sharp out of Grand Inquisitor, launch the bomb and just go one forward with Vader and just really try to kill Mace. Does does anybody have the uh, maneuver cards for these two I, guys? I can put them on screen. On for who? No, no, not on the. No, I mean on the, just on the the cards. Well, I've I've got Yasby open, so I can see all the maneuvers. Oh yeah, I couldn't be bothered. Does anyone have the Yasby links there? What? The uh, yeah. Are you looking yeah, for the them. for the cards, the pilot cards? Or the movement card. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll just get the Yasby link. Like, I'm right. posting in Playroom text. Playroom text. text. Yeah. Thanks. Think. Check it out. Yeah, it's just useful to easily be able to check out what their options yeah. are. Yeah, I do that as well so I can see the points and everything. Let's see, that's All Anakin's right. card on the stream. What he can do, just for funsies. And I say clear, and it's off again. <laughs> so, Mace is in a huge pile of shit right now. I mean, his best chance to survive would probably be one harding to the right, barrel rolling away. Because that might give him cover from gas clouds and the ability to avoid the bomb. Mm. That's going to be very difficult. Um, I have a feeling he'll spend a force to sense Grand Inquisitor and use Obi-Wan's boost or barrel roll to, you know, work around that. I feel vice versa might actually be the same. Grand Inquisitor might sense Mace Windu, check out his dial so he can get full theory on whether he should launch the bomb of Death Rain or not. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to make it a bit difficult now with the Grand Inquisitor three day. Yeah, yeah, that's why I thought he would five straight and boost, so he had a better position. But I mean, I mean, he had a good shot. Well, he still has some missiles that he can fire off, so he doesn't necessarily have to uh, drop a bomb right now. He can still just go uh, one forward and try and get a lock on someone to fire off some missiles. Well, normally he goes um, for the lock early on, so he can use the pocket with a double mod. Um, I think he's talking about. I'm death talking about their friend at the moment. Yeah. Instead of, yeah, instead uh, of Death Rain would have yeah. to do <laughs> Death Rain would have to do a two or three forward, a one forward would land him on the gas cloud. Correct, and no no actions there then. Yes. No. It looks like both players are almost set of their dice. So Death yep. Rain's gonna do a two bank and then Or oh, Death Rain typically yeah, he could Effe two bank. Effectively would be good actually. Effectively, um if you look at it this way, and and and, and uh, what's his name is this John is going to be a bit more daring, then he can launch that bomb fire forward. Then go far out with um, Grand Inquisitor of trying to fly over Mace, if possible, to oh. get away from the bomb. Oh, I think oh, here's the sense. So Inquisitor sensing Windu. Windu is doing a free bank to the left. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So these the. Uh, okay. These so now he's deciding one. in his system space whether he wants to drop a bomb or not. No, he's not going to. If he would, he would drop it three back, a thermal yeah. bit, and then boost, and then maybe drop for mace, blocking off this bottom gas cloud with a thermal debt just to to threaten okay. ma um who what's his name obi one coming in okay so he's launching a thermal detonator well dropping, dropping a thermal detonator. dropping three and then boosting yeah yep yeah, dropping three backwards so three behind him mm -hmm. i think he dropped four behind him no it's three okay yeah boost one. to the left launch at five or four yeah five there you go that covers off a huge chunk for obi-wan and anakin yeah and takes a focus okay now systems phase for kevin mason the bullet also spending a force to sense which one now yes I mean, who do you think I think Inquisitor, yeah. Inquisitor, Sensing yeah. Grand Inquisitor, Sensing. who is doing a two forward. Mm hmm. He's going to be. The three bank is going to be moving first. It's interesting. He basically. Yeah. Ooh. Kevin's in a tough spot now with his guys being separated. Yeah. He can basically count Mace Windu out for at least another turn until he. Signals loops comes back around, so he can focus all Choose of his firepower three. on a well, uh, free bank this turn and then oh, the turn or not. Yeah, Obi, Obi Wan Kenobi barrel. They're going for the inky. Mm, this could be very dangerous depending on how he maneuvered. Or, or straight, or he's going straight for Vader. My God, into the kill area. <laughs> Kill box alpha. <laughs> the mega kill box zone. Yeah, because they still needs to move. So you might even well, come in. Everyone as well. still needs to move. Okay, also spending a force on Anakin to barrel. So much boost. system. To boost. boost. Ooh. Ooh, flanker. Mm. Who's oh, definitely going to turn in hard? That actually gives okay. Vader quite a lot of information. Defrain, one forward. Checks for mm -hmm. lock. Gets it. OB. Definitely on OB. Yeah, will be silly to waste on Mace. Okay. Target lock on Obi Wan Kenobi for Defrain. Setting up those diamond boron missiles. Mace mm. Windu, free banking out. Uh, uh, he probably is going to sit there, huh? I think he would, eh? You'll go for the block. Yeah. yeah, go for the block Take and just lock. lock. Next turn, do the signals loop, and then yeah. really hurt Grand Inquisitor. Yeah. Grand Inquisitor, two forward, gets bumped. Well, just annoys him. So he didn't go far. Yeah. Interesting. De stresses. Has a force stall, so not completely defenseless. Mm hmm. Ooh. Boost. For bar for bullseye, yeah, Obi Wan, and to get out of the bombs range. So Obi Wan turning in hard one, facing Grand Inquisitor. Grand Inquisitor doesn't have rockets now because he doesn't have a focus token. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he can one also range one bonus. Yes, would want to boost to get out of Death Rain's arc and to get um, mm. Grand Inquisitor into bullseye, so he gets an extra attack dice. And there he boosts. Well played. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Him, getting himself out of that firing box. Okay, simple one straight for Vader. Probably has firing arc on. Well, he, he will have firing arc on both Obi Wan and Mace. But needs to be careful of the flank coming around from Anakin Skywalker because if he does a one hard, suddenly. Vader is in some serious trouble. Mm -hmm. Vader, do not barrel roll to the left. You will not get that lock. 
takes the lock. Ooh. You might have got that lock. If you barrel down, might have. Down forward, maybe. I would say take the lock on Windu. He's got less green dice, no um, shields left. Any damage you put through will really hurt. Yeah, we've got the guaranteed evade. No, it's focus fire. Uh, I don't know. Either way. Ooh. And then spin it for focus. I was saying that the game I played the other day, it had the same scenario. Range three shots to all time, and I just needed two damage on one ship behind one of these um, gas clouds. And the guy rolled three blanks, he only could change one, and I got my two hits through. So anything can happen. Well, here's hoping Kevin is out of blank outs for this game. Yeah, we don't want another scenario like this. <laughs> blank out scenario. Okay, Anakin in a good position to flank well, everything. Obi going to be trading shots with Grand Inquisitor, which would be quite interesting. Anakin unable to do that because he boosted in the system space. Mm -hmm. So mm. take a conventional action. Focus it is. And takes a focus token. Really? Why? Oh yeah, because it takes a force point to do a lock these ships. Yes. Okay, he should be attacking Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. Three dice against five. Oof. Get hit, hit, focus. Fire control. No. Uh just spending one of his fo spending his uh, focus and changing onto a crit. So that cool. is three focuses and a blank. Uh. <laughs> Wait for him to change it back. Back to three focuses and a blank. How much force will he spend? He needs to change one from a gas cloud and spend two force to not take a crit. And that he does. So Obi-Wan is currently now forceless, but not taking damage. For now. For now. Is... Range free shot from Anakin into Vader. Ion Cannon. Yep. yep. Oh wait, they didn't check the bombs going... Bonnie, can you yeah, look that? I just need to, to strictly pop in here. Oh. Oh, they, they're taking it now. Oh, Oof. one hit on the different, yeah. Nothing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... What was that roll? Anakin? Need to go to my YouTube page. Let's get the link for everybody. Okay, Grand okay. is a range one of, uh, of Obi-Wan Kenobi, three dice into three, and gets one hit. Three dice, and three focuses, oh. that's a damage into Obi-Wan. He doesn't want that. that he can't complain about one. paint, he got paint. That is one third of his die. that's one third of his health. Yeah. Well, he hasn't rolled an evade yet. <laughs> okay, range one in bullseye arc, so that will be four dice. So one hit on Obi Wan. Is he going to spend a force to cancel it? Three oh, hits. Spending a predator. Ah. 
So three hits on the blank into two evades off the Spencer Force, so one damage into Grand Inquisitor. Shield. Oh, one shield down that for Grand is not a bad trade. One damage for one damage. Hmm. And Defrain didn't, Defrain no didn't take... Target. Yeah, Defrain didn't take any damage from the Thermal Deaths. He was clear. So, oh. overall, in that engagement phase, I think John came off better because... He was in a worse situation and managed to trade one damage for one damage. Mm. Current point situation, 36 for John, 0 for Kevin. 47 minutes to go. Um, okay, so this positioning is interesting. Um, it can really go anywhere from here. Do you think Anakin's just going to fly by? Um, I think Anakin will just uh, dial in a one bank. Oh, sorry, no, he'll dial in a two forward. Well, maybe a boost. He might just yeah, boost he'll... 4k or something around away from Vader. Uh, yeah, I think him. he'll just dial in a two forward and then use his system space reposition to figure out what he wants to do. Hmm. So you're thinking... Um, Mace is going to do signals. Do you think he's going to use a free sense or go for the death rain sense? Or Vader sense? I think he'll Vader sense because he'll get a force back from signals looping anyway and that gives Anakin the information he needs. I think um, the Grand Inquisitor is just doing a one hard to the right to chase Mace. So, yeah, this will oh, be yeah. actually quite an interesting turn. Mace doing his two signals loop, spending the charge from R4P17, and taking probably a focus onto Grand Inquisitor. Grand Inquisitor just doing a one heart chase. And barrel of focus, pocket. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Obi Wan Kenobi could probably even just do a one heart left as well and try chasing. The Grand Inquisitor, but that might be a bump. But the best probable outcome for Mace is to sense Vader to give Anakin as much information as possible coming into the systems phase. Obi is in a quite strange position in that he is he has one force so he needs to be very careful of where he goes uh, am i correct in saying sorry i can't see the top screen there where john still more dead says correct in saying he used two surges yeah. correct thank you just updating the, the scoreboard so i currently think as it stands even though anakin is in a very good position john still has the advantage because he can actually turn Defrain up now to face Anakin and just cast a huge arc over where he's going to be. You can even toss another Thermal Dead down there. Um, yeah, I suppose he could do one free back, free backwards boost and toss it directly at Anakin, but Anakin isn't going to stay where he is. No, he's not going to stay there, he is, but that's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not going to toss it very far, though. So it all depends where Anakin goes. So it could cast a small little net. But on the other side as well, it's not it's not guaranteed. As you say, he's still going to move. Yeah. I think Deathrain... I... I, I think Vader and Deathrain are going to turn in on... Too hard from Deathrain. But uh, he might actually drop a bomb... Um three back just to be able to take a focus in two hard. Yes. Yes, no, that, that is completely correct. And then target lock him, because if he flies by, they, where he was pointing with his finger next to Vader, five straight, the two hard would still get him in there, maybe. It would actually, maybe he would be able to boost out the left and avoid it. Yeah. Yes, because the Grand Inquisitor can potentially block Obi-Wan this turn and pilot skill kill Mace, which would be 
very, very good for John. Taking a piece off the board and stopping another one from firing. Mm. And, you know, probably not getting shot by Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan might do like a 4K or something. What does he have options? It'll be a 4K or two purple talent roll. I think 4K would be the best, but that leaves him very vulnerable if um, Vader decides to turn in. Um, he do doesn't have in much place either to actually pre-reposition. And that's also true, hey? Vader can three bank. Yeah, Vader three can bank three boost. bank. Would he be able to? Uh, I would rather go for two bank barrel. Just cover off the two lower pilot skill pilots. Oh, no, he could do a three hard. He could, but yeah, then if both decide to turn down. I think John is still there. There's the sense call. Who is he sensing? I think he might be sensing Vader. He's sensing Vader. Three, three hard. hard. You are correct, yes. So yeah. it'll be a free hard from Vader. And that's to the right. So he's filling that gap with Vader. He's going to boost in shenanigans, probably take out Obi-Wan. And like we said, Mace is probably going to do a two sloop. Something short. Try and get yeah, well, Ma Mace's what sloop maneuver is a do do do. It is a two sloop. Uh, I don't think a 4K will be the best option. Yeah, I said two sloop. Yeah, two sleep to the left, R4, P17. Maybe boost. And he can do the Actually, boost. He, he might do that. Just, just take a focus, you've already got a target lock on Inquisitor. Ah, there's the two hard from Death Rain. Yep. Okay, and so he can didn't, boost didn't... it in the systems phase. Yeah, he didn't take... Okay, that's actually dangerous for Anakin, because now he can't. Yeah. Ooh, unless he's going to... Oh, unless, unless he's going to barrel roll out of arc. It all depends where he ends up. Uh, he might also be attempting to set up a block, but I don't think he expected Death Rain to come in. Okay. A five forward would take him completely out of a fight. Who's moving now? Mace Windu. Mace Windu there is yes. the Mace signal Windu. loop. Yep, yep. Regaining the... Three Taking right. stress. Is he going to use the flipping the R4 P17? He should. Oh, oh, didn't. okay. Ooh, he, hello. I, I, I think that's a mistrigger there. For getting the R four piece. He didn't um, use it yet. <laughs> I think we're going to see a boost focus. Oh, he's going to go for the lock. He's going straight for Anakin. Yep. He's going Just straight for that. Yeah, for the reshuffling his priorities, getting Vader out from Anakin, and bringing his other two ships into it. Mm hmm. Well, like I was saying at the beginning, five four from Obi Wan. Mm. Yeah, there's the so, bug out. Boost yeah. to the right, try and get some cloud cover. Yeah, because Vader's going to be chasing you down, and mm, Vader's not is... going to have an obstruction. No, because Vader will have his afterburners boost as well. Yeah, and the barrel and has a target lock already. Yes, so mm -hmm. Obi Wan is in big shit. There is the free hard. <laughs> There's no other word for that. Spend a charge from afterburner, boost forward. Uh, does he boost to the right or to straight? Ah, he's, I think he should. Should he? Yeah, boost to the right. Oh, come on! You could have done to the right. If, I think it would have put him over the gas cloud, though. Uh, next turn. It's not that far. Mm. Just a little bit. Takes a focus. As his actual action. No? Yes. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, 4K yeah. turn from Anakin. Ooh. I called that actually previous run. I thought he might do that boost and then 4K to get behind Vader turning it. Remember that? There's a reason yeah, he did he, that. 
Yeah, he's, just because he, he thought they would come in. Oh, uh, what? Well, he can remove the stricken's ability, but he's yeah. already boosted, which means... Keeps the stress. So, after... Wow. Well, Hmm. Yeah, there are no ships at range zero to one, so <laughs> yeah, he can't remove the stress, and it can is huge shit right now. <laughs> this will be Vader into Obi Wan Kenobi. Was that free crits? Jesus. Where? No, he hasn't rolled it yet. What? Free crits, free evades. Wow. Apparently. Yeah. What? No, I didn't see anything in the in the chat. I think they turned it off. No, Turn it off. Dice control is. Well, there has been no rolling yet. Oh. Look at that. Dice control is now. No, oh, look at that. Here we go. So free crits into free evades. Hey, crit. So, did he spend the lock? Yeah, he spent the lock. Okay, Ooh, so he did crit. Grand Inquisitor has got no more force left, no more force for Anakin and Obi Wan. Did he spend two force? Yeah, he did. They're all force starved, yeah? Grand Inquisitor. Anakin. Spend the lock. Spend the lock. Mm -hmm. Hit nice. oh, Hit crit. That's crazy, hit, man. Hit crit. One of oh, eight. Spend a charge. Make him roll that red dice. No, he's taking it. Well, he, he can't. Has to. He's got no. He takes a crit now. Yeah. So. Crit, we've got a few leak. <clears throat> Anakin limping, not and the worst crit he can have. Ooh, it's lucky. Fine. Not the worst crit to have. Almost entirely inconsequential, no. actually. Fuel leak is not. Yeah, it's a dead crit. Yeah. Yeah, dead. life. You've got one life left. Mace nice gonna shoot into oh. into Vader. Inquisitor, you've got better chance of getting half points. Yeah. We currently, for points, should currently stand at a hundred, uh, 68 to 0. That is correct. 68 for John, 0 for Kevin. Um, how did he... How did he oh, he's he's rerolling re it. So, two hits. And Ooh. two evades. Grand Inquisitor Yo. is fine. Yo! Oh, there was an afterburners charge used as well. Recharge force. Vader. He did spend a diamond boron muscles, right? Correct. Uh, okay. Boom. Okay, one force back for each of the guys Anakin and Obi Wan. Any, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Sorry, Keisha. Um, the, <laughs> the big problem is Anakin can't even do his um, pre barrel roller boost now because he's stressed. Yes. That is unfortunately now Achilles' heel. Well, not Achilles' heel, but a setback. Do you think Vader's going to keep going for Obi? Um, nah, he should just one hard to the left and just try to end Mace. Take yeah. the opportunity while he has it. Vader doesn't, I don't think he's got a one hard, eh? Uh, he might not, but 4k from Vader after bonus boost then. He can maybe do that, yes. Hmm. Where's the dials? Yeah, because um, Grand Inquisitor was in range of Anakin, correct? 
Uh, Grand Inquisitor, range of Anakin, yes. As far as I'm yeah, Okay. So he can sense where Anakin is going and then just put Death Rain in to block him and then proc at him. Um, no, he already spent the lock. So... Well, he doesn't need the lock to proc it, but... Oh, yes, yeah, I know. He's not going to proc it. I don't know. He's going to save it. Um, but what he can do is he can launch a trajectory at 5 and then barrel roll to the right mm. and then... I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. You can even boost. To I, I would just, I would just one bank in to the right. Eight. I mean, he, he then, could actually, he could, he could launch a thermal debt at four and then barrel to the left. Back. What? Oh. No, you are connect. Your connection is breaking. Yeah, we've got a robot voice there. <laughs> hey, DC. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Oh, no, 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 you did. You DC'd okay, so out you... of TTS, yeah. Yeah, I think your TTS just freaked out, freaked out your Discord there. All the Americans are coming online again. Yes, now we're all going to suffer. <laughs> Sorry. Got a very nice cry tonight. What do you mean? Uh, uh, people watching. Got a nice seven seven uh, viewers at the moment. It's good. We're climbing the ranks. Oh, that's <laughs> actually better than usual. That is better than usual, yeah. We had seven once the one evening as Everyone, well. So. Everyone's coming for Michael. <laughs> yeah. Great. You want to hear Michael's voice. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> we, we get... International Love. person on it, and everyone goes mad. Yeah, exactly. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm Mr. Mavic. Woohoo! <laughs> we're getting there, Mr. Mavic. We're getting there. Next time, we're going to invite Gold Squadron Podcast. Free shout out, guys. <laughs> if they listen, if they're watching this. Just for parity, hey. shout out to shout out to Hexlid and Fun Walk. There we go. The more the merrier. Uh, welcome <laughs> Nick Wesley in the chat. Whoop whoop. Yep, yep. The prince is here. He was here the whole time. Oh, look at the he knows what is, at least. Exactly. Raid. Raid. <laughs> well done. Hey, dude. Don't use raid. Use doom. It's much better. <laughs> Don't let okay, us start one... singing the doom song Sorry, now. Sorry, two bang from Mace Windu. Ooh, he, he launched a concussion there at four. Oh, he's planning on blocking Anakin with the concussion. Evil. Yep. Evil. Yep, yep. He's going to take one for the team. Oh, but he still has to move, doesn't he? No. He, mm, he has moved. He's he too moved, harder yeah. to arrive. No, man. Um, different. Yes, he too harder to arrive. Oh, sorry. Missed that. Don't see the dials. <laughs> I just need to play around a bit more with the settings. There is a secondary screen overlay I can do. Okay, so we got Mace coming in there trying to support Anakin. It's getting desperate. Hmm. He's going to probably evade him. Playing ring around the asteroid there. Three hard to the right from Obi Wan. Hmm. hmm. I wonder if Vend is going to fall care. I think the 4K is the most likely option. Gives you a boost to chase, you still have your target lock on Obi Wan. Obi Wan opts for an evade. And... Ooh! 
Oh. Mm. Wow, that is tight. That God. is your. That was beautiful. That doesn't even need to spend the afterburner's charge. Just takes Just the kill. focus. Obi Wan in massive shit again. <laughs> that was beautiful. I was wondering whether that was going to be there. No, I was actually thinking three bang. Ah, there's the Anakin bumped. Ooh, dead. Bye bye. Beautiful. So there's that a... was a beautiful evil. That's a very scum tactic there. Yeah. Concussion bombs takes one damage straight through his shields, eh? Yep. And he's oh, gonna he take have shields. Different. Yep, so it takes a damage yeah, card definitely. and then you choose to take a strain or reveal the damage. So it's quite I evil. think taking one damage to killing Anakin is much better. Yeah. So Anakin's up the so, table. A hundred to zero at the moment. Mm. Vader shooting at Obi Wan. Four dice, range one. Just the kill shot, yeah. I mean, look at this FCS. Turn that to a crit and FCS. It's crit. Yep. I control it. Spin the focus. This is yeah. going to spin the force. Two, two crit. Definitely taking a crit. Spin the V and spin the force. Did John spin Take the force? Crit. Take a crit. John should have no, spin the John... force, right? No, he should have yeah, spent the even first. Even his, his focus. I didn't see a focus. Oh, oh, he, he didn't know. care. He didn't even care because it's going to regen the force. <laughs> He's a... Uh, that's called flexing. He was flexing. Oh. Spending the force. And Obi-Wan is off. Did he get a direct hit? What happened? That must have it. been a direct hit for yeah, I think he got it there, Obi Wan yeah. then, if he's off. Yes. That's um Yeah, spent the focus on Vader. Mace Mace is suddenly looking uh like he can see his pool. Lonely. Yeah, no arc on the Grand Inquisitor who can just one hard in. Death raid out of range, Vader able to easily free hard, come back in. The scores currently stand 136 to 0. Uh, 157. Ah, you are correct. I hit the wrong one. <laughs> yeah. 157 to 0. Yeah. Both, both Anakin and Obi-Wan is down for the count. Ah. Damn. This turned out to be a interesting game. This this was entirely of blocking from John point of view, stopping the ace game from um, Kevin and just completely putting his ships in exactly the right positions to stop all of Kevin's potential options from these Jedi. It was a sense from the Grand Inquisitor. Well, a uh, sense from Mace Windu onto the Grand Inquisitor. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. So there was a Mace Windu force used on that. We got two there, so I missed the fourth. Always recharging what is thermal deaths. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Mace is coming in there. I'm not sure if that is. Oh, I don't know what's worse, man. Going towards Death Rain or... Oof. Mm, that's a difficult one to call. Because it is going to one hard to the right and be maybe out of arc for a lot. You have to check that arc. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, yeah. Do you know that it's not legal to check arc when you check... Um, range yeah before you engage correct hmm so even after you check even after you move you're not allowed to check arc yep 
because it's apparently classified as a different step in the rule book. There's the barrel from Vader, prepping, and takes the focus. So that's two forces down from Vader. And taking the target lock. So, range oh. two shot. Vader into Mace Windu. Three against two. Yeah. That, that is crit, eyeball, eyeball. Spend the focus, mm -hmm. change one to a crit. Va I mean, the... Mace Windu definitely taking a crit. Doesn't matter Get what to evade. Take the crit. Yep, takes a creep. Hold bridge. Was that range three? Range two. Yes, it's range two. It's range two, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, because he had two dice. Hold bridge. Before you suffer one more damage, suffer that much crit damage instead. Yep. Oh, look at the natties. Three natties. Oh, Vader is going to roll nothing. Ooh, that's he's more pain spend, than he's used to. Spend one force and take one shield on Vader. Ooh, John's dice on fire here. I mean, he's rolled hit, hit, crit almost every single roll. Mm. Except okay. for the one where Inquisitor had to spend his lock, but then he got hit, hit, crit. So. Um, Mace's guy has to go up one more. It's quite good. Force, isn't it? I don't think Mace spent the force just now, did he? No. He has to go one up, I think. What are you talking about? These force tokens. No, I don't think so. And that's for him to remember. Yeah, I'm just checking now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you kept them on the table like like John's doing, it's much easier to keep track. Hmm. Except with John's Lego pieces, it's not as easy to keep track. Don't know what Death Rain's gonna do. He might just do a too hard barrel. Um, yeah, too hard in. Just keep our. And there's no reason for John to do anything silly now. He just needs to thumb it in with Vader. Just go wherever Mace is pointing. What the hell is it? Oh, is he sensing Vader? Yeah, sensing oh, Vader. Okay. Um. So yeah, there Vader. we go, the barrel, then we're going to see a Talon from Grand Inquisitor. Oh, okay, no barrel, never mind. Took a lock. Whoa! Oh. He flying off the board. Overlapping that asteroid. He uses R14, he uses R4 P17. Vader will get the cover from the gas cloud with the one bang. Um, you can barrel roll. Oh no, why did he go try and go right? Yeah. yeah. He still needs to do a action with a Mace. It's not failed. No, uh, he won't have his action with Mace. Because uh, he needs to be stressed. No, but he popped the R4. Yeah. P17. Yeah, but he failed the yeah, action. He, oh, he okay. tried barrel rolling to the right, failed the action. Ah, uh, see. So he is going over that gas again next turn. And if Grand Inquisitor did a one hard to the left or a talon roll, no, he did a... that's a very. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's the talon roll. Yeah, do you know what, guys? We should never be commentating while watching the TTS. We should always be actually watching the stream because this thing's delayed. No. No, no, no. We're we're. It's actually. Up we're actually yeah, we're actually TTS. right. Yes, we see. Oh, oh yes, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I keep forgetting that. Yes. Yeah, we we explained it last time. <laughs> the stream the stream has the delay, so if you comment on the stream, it's going to be delayed anyway. So we need to mm. comment on TTS because TTS real time and it goes over to the stream in real time. Okay, Ooh. hit crit crit to evade. 
so it will be a crit onto Mace Windu. Direct and hit. Direct hit. That is game. <laughs> um, that well, is a two hundred zero. That is two shields oh. off. That's crazy. Two shields and a damage onto. Oh, Kevin. Amazing grace. <laughs> He's got a straight. We need like some like really sad song to be playing now. The Republic has good... not won this battle. What's he doing with the red thing? I think thing. he's trying to type something. <laughs> John is like, game over, man, game up. Oh, the, his cursor went bonkers. Graphic. <laughs> oh, oh, Kevin. Kevin's freaked yeah. out. Yeah, he needs to. Uh, okay, cool. So I think they, uh, what's his name is, is they just checking what could have been. So yeah, <clears throat> I think that's it for the stream, guys. Uh, 200 zero to John. Well done, John. Very well done. John. Well played, John. Yeah. Um, unlucky there, Kevin. You, there were food turns <laughs> that could have gone a little bit better for you, but yeah, Ouchies. yeah, but that opening engagement between Grand Inquisitor and Mace Windu really set the tone for the rest of the game yeah definitely definitely said that yeah so yes uh thank you very much uh michael and pierre for joining it's also always awesome having you guys thank You're you for inviting welcome. us not a problem anytime and um yes uh well i'm going to upload this to my youtube channel and then you guys uh, can just subscribe there as well. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. If we talk a lot of nonsense while commenting, just let us know. <laughs> we'll definitely get better. So, yeah. Thanks very much, guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll read. Hey? We'll read the comments. Yeah, we'll read the comments as soon as there is any comments, yes. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, everyone, for joining the stream. It was pretty awesome. Thanks, Chuck. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, and uh, see you guys again soon. Cheers, yes. Alrighty. Bye.